right, so today is December 11th, and I'm going to show you how to properly put on a head gasket on a engine. I'm going to be using a Kohler K-Series K321. I have the head here. Let's go get the gasket. There's the head. There's the, um, what do you call it? Top of the block the cylinders in the valve. So what you're first gonna want to do is get a Brillo pad. Let's do it like this instead. These are the things you're gonna need. Of course, your head gasket. Right it's like nine bucks, I think. Wasn't bad. Head gasket. As I mentioned before, your little brittle pad has to clean the bottom of the head. You're going to need a torque wrench and the socket for whatever size bolt or head bolts you have. And then I'm also going to put the head bolts back in with never sheaths just so they don't get stuck. And then, of course, you're going to need your head and the head bolts over there. And always remember that the safety comes first. You don't want to get that stuff in your eyes. So, let's get in there and start working on it. So what you're going to want to do is clean up the surface that the head gasket is going to go onto. You want to make it nice and clean so the head has a nice spot to mount to. Or a head gasket has a nice spot. So the top of the block is clean now. Also clean the piston, that's a good idea. Make sure you get all that soot off there. Now I gotta do the head now. And I'm gonna grab another piece of this Brillo pad, cause that one's so dirty now. Get another one. Should always have a couple pieces ready. It's my fault there, I didn't know it was that dirty. Do it before. I know this thing's gonna be really clean when it's done, hopefully. I'll see you after. When I got that surface clean, that's the most important part. Scrub that for a while, not coming off. Come over here, let's get our head gasket out of the bag. Maybe. Now typically with head gasket, what you want to do is look for a serial number on the surface, which I'm not seeing. So that usually, if there's a serial number, you always want to have that sticking up on the block. Since this doesn't have one, we're just going to put it on. And that is a perfect fit for everything. Grab the head that is over here. Another thing I forgot to mention before is to also have a compression tester. Um, this engine has the, or supposedly has the compression release. So I hear it's not as accurate on this one. But if you're using or putting a new head gasket on any other engine, you'd want to, well, besides a ACR, which is the automatic compression release. So if you're putting it on another engine, you definitely want to do a compression test before and after to make sure everything's working right. So let's try to fish this head in there. And it was difficult getting in or getting out. Now that that's fished in there, just put one of these bolts in just as a place marker. And to kind of keep the whole thing from, or keep it lined up. Next, what you want to do is grab your never seize. And as you put the bolts back in, just put a little dab of them on the threads. And then thread them in a little bit. And then we'll get the torque wrench set up. I'll show you how to do that. And again, you don't want much. Even a little bit too much in there. You just want to be able to see the thread. Get that in there. Tighten up a bit and always remember to seal the container because you spill that stuff, it's gonna get all over. Now, for this particular engine out of here, the torque wrench is made of six pounds and Once an inch cut. So I have the 
the torque to spec on this engine is 234 inch pounds, which converts to 19 and a half foot pounds. So that's what we're gonna set this wrench to. Um, got this from what, Harbor Freight, Pittsburgh, pretty good thing. You don't have to spend a lot, but still get something that works and reliable. So in order to find the suggested uh, torque spec or torque to spec thing, you want to check your operator's manual. It should have it in there, or if you don't have one, you should probably find it online nowadays. How you use this? Get that in focus here. If you loosen the bottom all the way to the left, and then you're able to move the handle through that left and right. That's where I need a tripod here. Seen it. Hang on a minute. Helps if you're on the correct side, not metric. Those are foot pounds. So every time you turn this right, each number or each hash line in the middle is one more than the last. So it'd be zero, one, two, little one, three, four, like that. So as you turn it right, the you know, torque increases. So it's on 10. We want it at 19 and a half. So, so I can do this one-handed. You want to line that line up with the center line of the numbers until it's until we get in the ballpark. Right there. You got nine and a nine and a half. Now once you get that, you set it in, you just turn this right again until it's snug. Grab your 916 socket. This is also at ratcheting. Get that in. So I have here, it's on my phone, but uh, pattern, the torque pattern, so I know this one's the first one here, so let's start with that. So I just kind of went around and snugged them all up. This is the torque them all once to 19 and a half on mine. So I'm going to keep tightening it until the handle bends up here. Right there. Almost. Seems like handle bends. That's how you do it. Just make sure. Yep. All right. Let's do the other one. Our next one. Next one is this one. Let's find out the last, that's the fourth one, let's, there's eight, so let's go to number five. There's nine, my bad. So loose. Five and six. If I can get it on there, there we go. Seven. Eight. 
eight and maybe and number nine so now they're all torqued to spec so now that those are torqued down let's grab the compression tester which is right here and before I did this it was right around 90 psi let's see if that goes up make sure that's snug let's see if we can park that right there Over. Let's see what it goes to. Oh, in gear. Try it again. We're only at what 58 ish. However, I think the compression release is finally kicking in on it, which I think is good. As soon as it doesn't turn over like that, it struggles even more. Everything's falling. Either way, that's all you need to know to torque your head. Remember to always follow your torque pattern and to have a torque wrench. Don't use an impact wrench because that would screw up the pattern it's supposed to be torqued in and as well as the torque. And that's one thing for tires, but for heads on an engine it's different. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something in this video. If you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing for more videos like this. Uh, How-to videos and overall videos are just overused tractors and stuff like that um you haven't shared the channel you could share it to your friends to help grow the channel maybe your friend needs help how to put on a head and now there's a video on how to do that if you have any further comments you could comment below i'll be happy to answer i'm on youtube here pretty often so it's not a problem and we'll catch you next time hopefully another how-to video